Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a little ship with me while I prepare some items, kind of last minute in the day. But I thought, hey, I should probably do that shipping thing and get stuff out. Uh oh, I hope my computer's not dead. Um, I just went and pulled everything. That's why I'm slightly out of breath. And it's about 4.05 and my post office closes at 5.10. So I'm a little bit under the wire here. Oh, I guessed my password right on the first time. Okay, so I have some Poshmark and some eBay packages. Let's do some Poshmark first. This item is a North Face vest that I picked up about maybe a month or two months ago. Oh crap, I forgot something. That's okay. Um, anyways, I picked this up about a month or two months ago at a Plato's Closet 90% off sale. And I don't know what I paid for it. Not a whole lot, because those 90% off sales are a killer deal. I try and only pick up items at those sales from brands that I know that I've sold before and will do well for me. Obviously a North Face floral puffer vest. That's in my opinion, a great find. I was surprised that it was still there. Okay, print, we all good down there? Generally for my Poshmark purchases, I use all of the free USPS products to ship in. So I'll be shipping this item in a Tyvek mailer. The reason I like to use the Tyvek mailers as opposed to a box, that's loud. Let me tear this off real quick. As opposed to a box is because boxes take up a lot of room for the post office. And, I'll, you know, there's so many ways for the post office to cut down on costs and ultimately, you know, hopefully charging customers a little bit less. So that's what I don't, in my mind, I'm thinking hopefully this decreases the cost of their them doing business, whether that works or not. You can, of course, do your own thing. This is just what I do. <laughs> and the Tyvek mailers, all the USPS supplies are free. If you're not cur currently use, utilizing that, um, I would highly recommend doing it just to bring your costs down, especially given these uncertain times. Okay, the next item is this girl's Hannah Anderson dress. It's super cute. I actually was having a little bit of a tough time finding this. I had to dig deep into my inventory spreadsheet, which is not anything fancy. I just created it on Google Docs. And it basically just contains all the information regarding pretty much every piece of my inventory that has, that I've assigned a, like a custom label or a custom SKU to. So for instance, this item was in bin 00 dash, well, number 77, item number 77. When you have a store with a lot of items, I think at some point you have to make a decision what sort of geez, please, inventory system you want to put into place. You know, I think after you kind of get a couple of hundred items, it's smart to start doing an inventory system. That's just my two cents. Um, there's that. Yesterday I did a haul of wholesale bras that I purchased from B&G Trading. A number of you have reached out to me about purchasing a bra. Thank you so much for thinking to purchase from me. I appreciate that. Anyways, um, I am working on getting everything kind of inventoried up to see what I have and I will respond to you. So if you watch this video and you're like, she has not responded to me yet, um, and hopefully I'll touch base with you before that is the case. Um, Anyways, <laughs> I will touch base with you soon. And if you're interested in purchasing a bra, check out that video. Obviously, um, I have a lot of them. I have 100 bras, so I'm excited to sell them. Okay, these are, I think, a pair of Zara jeans. They're really cute. Yeah, this is them. They're really cute. They have, they're skinny, and then at the ankle, there's like a little notch at the bottom. As opposed to like where maybe a zip would be, like an ankle zip. It's just like an open notch. It looks really cool. I like these. But they're size four, so they're not going to fit me. <laughs> oh, let's print the label for these. Okay. I like to print from Poshmark's website. I know a lot of people like to print from the email they send you. 
I'm just so used to having a dashboard on eBay's website. So I do everything from a platform. That's my preference is to print from a platform. I'm curious, do you print from email or do you print from a platform? I have a feeling most people will say email. I feel like I'm the minority who prints from a from the website. Okay, I think that was all my Poshmark ones that I have pulled. Let's go to eBay. Um, there's one item I still need to find to ship out. I'm gonna set this here. Hopefully that doesn't block anything. There's one item that I need to find. It's not lost, but my garage is just chaotic right now. So I need to find that. This item is, what is it? Mm, a sweatshirt, just a basic black crew neck sweatshirt. Um, where is, poly mailer bag, just a plain one. <laughs> Gonna put in the weight. And this one is going to Laporte. That sounds so fancy. Laporte, Indiana. What's up to Laporte? If you're from Laporte or know where it is or can tell me something fun about Laporte, put that in the comments. <laughs> uh, the other day I mentioned, oh, I mentioned in my last shifting type vlog video, I think I said somewhere in Ohio. I think it was like Tope Topeka, no, Toledo. One of the two, one of the T's. And uh, I got a couple comments, so shout out to those people. Hi, hello to my Ohio friends. Okay, next is this Roots sweatshirt. The company's called Roots. It's a Canadian brand. It's essentially like, kind of like a Gap, but nicer. That's the best way I can say it. More expensive, for sure. This sold for $20 plus shipping. Oh, it's an out, or one... One pound, zero ounces, score. <clears throat> so, let's see, one, zero. Um, if you're not selling on eBay and one of the things that intimidates you is the shipping, I highly recommend you just jump right in. Somebody actually left me a comment about that on a video from yesterday. And I told them, which is like a genuine response, to just jump right in. Really, truly, that's the best way to learn how to do eBay, is to just start listing stuff and mess up the shipping. Not intentionally. You're going to do it on accident, probably. Um, but don't worry. It will be okay. And next time, you won't, sh you won't mess it up again. <laughs> because you'll learn and you're going to know better. Same with returns. Returns are something that's going to happen. It's not fun. But it is, unfortunately, the cost of doing business. As you grow for any type of serve, you know, retail service out there, you're going to get some sort of, you know, there's going to be losses that just happen in your business. And returns are just going to be one of them. This is a Free People tunic. This sold for $34. When did I pick this up? Oh, I don't have the, why isn't it showing the inventory there? It usually does. That's so odd. I haven't had it that long and so that's exciting that it didn't stay too long <laughs> uh, at the beginning of this year I started going to regular thrift stores again and started paying up for items so I'm glad that I got 34 for this because I probably if I had to guess I probably paid like seven or eight dollars but I can't remember off the top of my head this is going to Lexington MA is is that Massachusetts feel terrible that I don't know my state abbreviations right now. M-A. Okay, hold on. I'm going to Google it. <laughs> Oops. State abbreviation for M-A. Massachusetts. I got it right. Woo! Woo! Feeling good about my life right now. <laughs> okay, there's that. What was I talking about? Oh, okay. So paying up for inventory. So just a thought right now during everything that's happening. You know, I started the year off paying up for inventory and stopping shopping at the bins. Now I'm like, wow, okay. You know, how do I feel about this now? Do I still want to pay up for inventory? You know, I don't know. I might go back to the bins. <laughs> I think I might 
be ready for that again. I don't know. It's going to change with time. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to always kind of kind of like go back and forth feeling like I'm ready to go to the bin. I'm ready to shop at regular thrift stores. It's always going to fluctuate for me, I'm sure, just because the bins can physically wear you out. However, the great part about shopping at the bins is that it just keeps your cost of goods low. And now being in a position where, you know, I have quite a bit of inventory. Um, I don't want to sit on inventory. So I don't know. Or I don't want to sit on a bunch of inventory that's expensive. I think that's everything. There's two items, one posh item and one eBay item that I still need to ship out that I forgot to grab. So I might go get those together before I go to the post office. Otherwise, um, the eBay one isn't slated to ship until tomorrow because I have two day handling, even though I generally fulfill orders before that. So anyways, that's that. <laughs> That's what I have. I don't know if this is going to be a full vlog, but at the very least, I thought I would do some sort of little ship with me and check in because I'm enjoying um, the interaction that I'm getting from everybody in the comments. I really appreciate that. And I've heard from a lot of people that this is a nice little distraction in your day. So I hope your day is going wonderful.